In today's episode, file server down. This computer is literally a bomb. Please work on my PC while it is off. How can you mess this up? Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. File server down. This happened last year. Around autumn. I was having our weekly afternoon meeting with other staff from administration at Friday. Some coffee and bagels and chit chat about office stuff and so on. I in middle of interesting story about co-works cat, my phone informed me that I got new mail. Of course I check it out like proper smartphone addict has to. Messages from our recycle center's project manager. She states in the message that she can't access the file server. It is Friday and I am about to head home after the meeting to waste my weekend by sleeping and gaming but decide to call her anyway. Me, hey you. So you can't access your files on server. Can you ask around your office if anyone else has same problem? She, sure thing, they'll call you back soon. One minute later. She, nope. No one can access file server. Me, sheet. Okay, you'll finish my meeting, coffee, and head there. I excuse myself from meeting, go to my office and finish my coffee. Time to check what the frigging server is about again. The server itself is a Fujitsu Primer G. Tower model. It is located in one of the offices Recycle Center has. And that office is currently not used by anyone so only one who has any business there is me or other it guys. No one even has keys to that room but me and other IT guys. Server computer itself is on a desk with display, mouse and keyboard and looks a lot like desktop computer. They only got that one server, not my choice but theirs. They only gave me money to get one server, one server license etc. And that server runs AD, file server and print server. Good thing is that there is not that many office workers on that place that use the server so it's not begging to end its life. And they use cloud mostly for their precious files. File server is however needed for some files that are illegal to but into cloud thanks to GDPR. And those files are pretty important and critical apparently. Don't worry. Server has Rob Rust backup system so data is safe even the server would melt. I arrive to the ground zero and head straight to the office thinking about possible causes that might made the server go boohoo. I go in the office room and look at the desk. I see the display, keyboard, mouse, lots of loose cables but not the server. My brain skips few beats and I look at the empty spot on the desk and just can't compute this situation. I turn and walk to the project manager's office. Knock knock. Who's there? Not the server. Me, hi. Yeah, I figured out what is wrong with your server. It's gone. She clearly did not compute what I just told her. Ha. Huh. What you mean gone? Me, well, your server is not there. She, even more confused looking, the heck, let me see. I walk back to the server room with PM, and she looks the same half empty desk for a while. Never noticed how big her eyes are and how pale she is. Or it might have something to do with this mysterious disappearing of their server. Then I also notice that the backup device is also missing and tell her that. She, heck. What the heck? Heck. Who, ha, huh, heck. She pulls out her phone and I tell her that I'll be outside for a nice relaxing smoky time while she does some old school yelling and howling on the phone. He'll let her win it out in peace. After a few minutes I go back in and into the server room. She is still there looking more relaxed but still pretty pissed. She, yeah. Knew it guy who started today was supposed to pick up his laptop, display, docking station etc from here this morning. It ape ours that he desi dead to take the server instead. Me, me, ha. Huh? Heck. Why the heck would he take the server? Note that everyone in there uses identical setups of laptop, docking station, display mouse etc. She, no idea whatsoever. Me, um, where is this dude stationed? She, at the computer chop shop. My, I turn to freak out silently and die a little from inside. Computer chop shop is the place there were old and sometimes new computer go to die. They get ripped apart, hard drives erased, 
two old parts thrown into bin and on the way to the last stop before computer heaven. And the fact that the backup system is also gone there. Oh heck. Both of them. Got a double backup there just in case. Also there is a joke that if anyone finds something in there that is not bolted into ground it's going for sale ASAP. And good computers usually sell in minutes they get into shelf and consumer area. I sit down and start to compute how can I salvage this. I can feel my brain overheating. Then few moments later. Might be 10 minutes or 100 hours. No idea as time froze there. The new it guy walks in with the server tower and his buddy with backup system. It guy, hi. Hey sorry man. I though this was free to take. It looked like desktop and I don't like laptops that much so I though I would take this as my work computer. Me so. Did you do anything to it? Wipe the drives or something. It guy, nope. Did not have time. Was about to do it as a first thing tomorrow morning. Me, how about the backed systems? They good? It guy, yeah the big one is still as as was. The smaller one is wiped. Me, ha. Huh? Okay. Then it's all good. There is your work setup on that other desk. Let me take that server and start putting this thing back online. It guy, okay. I am so sorry about this. My fault 100%. Me, hey no problemo. Good that I came here today, and not next Monday. Next Monday, I would have been all fire and brimstone. It guy. Hee hee. I'll see you later. Me, sure thing buddy. I'll keep you posted and informed. Then I just put the server back where it belongs and fire it up. And the are blue screens. This just can't be casual Friday can it? FML. All I wanted was a nice nap after slow uneventful day at the office. Now I got stupid wind blows server blue screening my face. I restart the server and it starts up just fine. Ha. Huh. But there is a RAID error. Apparently one drive is failing. Hack it. Not gonna fix this today. I got spares at my office so I'm coming back on Monday. I head straight to home and take a nap without alarm. I like to live dangerously. The new it guy turned out to be okay. I even give him most of the admin related stuff there now, so I don't have to drive there every time printer is out of paper or something. Bonus story, couple of weeks ago one coworker came to me and told me that one of the teachers is super angry because the MFD at third floor is broken and had been broken for couple of days now. I have no idea about this. No one has put a ticket about it, called or mailed me. Did not know that the device has a problem. So I jump up and run to the third floor where magic never happens. I go to the MDF and look at it. There it is. Xerox Work Center MDF. The pain in my arse now. Let's see what is the malfunction of this little prick. Out of resources. That is what the MDF display says. Are you kidding me? I pull out the tray and yep, it's empty. I fill the thing and voila. Fix the broken MFD once again. FML. And this was not the first time for this crap and pretty sure it won't be the last. This computer is literally a bomb. I don't work in IT, I restore old computers, but this happened at my school and thought it'd be worth sharing. So I walk into calculus. We had a substitute that day because our teacher had COVID she was a nice old lady. Usually, the substitutes are given 2015-ish MacBook Pros to use while they teach. This particular specimen had seen better days, so I saw as my I followed the HDMI cable from the projector to the laptop, it had grown a belly. The trackpad and keyboard were bulging up the battery had expanded a lot. At this point everyone was still getting ready, the sub was taking attendance, and I went oh no. Under my breath. I stood up and blurted, this is literally a bomb. This computer is a certifiable bomb. I regained my sanity and said something to the effect of, the battery has expanded, it's bulging against the frame. These can explode, you should get IT to give you a different computer. So the sub gets on the phone with IT which was really another teacher, will call in Mr. M, 
who had been providing the laptops. At this point everyone in the class is either silent or laughing at me with variations on it's a bomb. Oh ha ha ha. Sub, incredulously so there's a student in my class here who says my computer's a bomb, that it's going to explode. Me, desperately trying to regain my dignity, the batteries expanded dash. Sub, she says the batteries expanded and you should come and replace it. Side note, I'm a dude lol. I have a man bun so old lady thought I was a girl. So now Mr. M comes in and I explain it to him, he replaces the laptop, the zoom is all sorted out, etc etc. I realized though, looking at the new laptop, that its battery had expanded too. What? I have so many questions. Mental note to talk to Mr. M later and get him to return the explosive stash to IT. I run into him a few hours later during passing period. Mr. M, thanks for letting me know about the computer. I brought that one right back to IT. Me, no problem, sorry about that. Do you have more of these which have expanded batteries? Mr. M, not that I know of. Me, okay, actually also the one you gave the sub also had a bad battery, uh. Mr. M, should I go and replace that one too? Me, yeah probably. I proceed to explain to him the dangers of expanded batteries. Mr. M, thanks for letting me know. I'll go and replace the other one. Me, alrighty bye, smiley face. Disaster avoided? Hope your computer's not a bomb my friend after the fact lol. Please work on my PC while it is off. This story happens between the evening of yesterday and of now. I got a call from a user, let's call him GOS, that tells me he is having some trouble with logging into his email account. We use IBM Notes on a centralized server, to which I have most admin rights. I then proceed to remote to his machine via Microsoft Configuration Manager Remote, only tool available, and am greeted by a message that the application failed to start during login time. I assure that after closing said message, there are no pending tasks from Notes, and try again to log in with his details, but yet to have the same error. Proceed to change his password and try again because sometimes user let the password expire, keeping the software open, and this has caused many trouble in the past, still same error, and no solution. At this point only two ways are available, and I try the easy one, rename the folder containing all his details, in order to have it being created anew, open up again notes, get greeted by the first time use wizard that allows me to set all again, but at the end, same message around. Dang. Let me check what version is he using, still the unpatched version. Let put on the latest FP we have available, still an old thing, but fix a lot of issues. Yes, I managed to access, but after opening the software, it says the user have two different password and even with the domino admin, I cannot fix this issue and will need user ID file from our decentralized offices to fix it, so I have to open a ticket. Move forward to this morning I got to my PC and after couple of hours waiting I am greeted by an email incoming and it is the beautiful ID file. Remote again to his computer. Load the ID file, same problem, insert f asterisk 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 meme here. Okay, last step is to remove completely the software, reinstall, and try again. So, after switching to my privileged user, I proceed to remove notes and start installing it back, which is a PETA given the long time it takes to install even on newer hardware, but GOS machine is a piece of metal, good only to keep hold of paper on his desk, so it takes around 30 minutes just for the basic software to install, at the end, here comes the FP that should help, knowing it will take some time as well. I go grab a coffee with a colleague, and leave the office for no more than 15 slash. 20 minutes, as to my return I find the remote connection closed. I try again to get my access back in, just to be informed that the computer is not reachable, confused, let's try again. Still a big nope. Make a ping request, no reply. Okay his machine is off and he will call back, if he needs help. One hour or so pass by, and I hear knocking on my door, to which GOS appears with a clueless face, I ask him, did you turn off your PC? GOS, yes I did, why? Face, meet palm, both meet the desk. Me, ho, oh, I need it on to work on it. To which he leaves and calls me back after 5 minutes to inform his PC is back on, remote back in perform login with my account, start getting back to control panel to remove, again, 
IBM notes, not knowing what had happened by the time I went for the coffee, and when he turned it off. Not even a minute I'm in, he interrupts the connection, this is something that the user is allowed to do on MS SCCM remote, and is the reason we now use it. Angry call from me, GOS, did you close my connection? GOS, maybe? I close the call, connect back to his computer, and after I'm in I immediately lock any chances for him to use either mouse or keyboard. Let's see how it goes, that POS is still installing. How can you mess this up? I'm a teacher. I'm good with tech because I like to try new things. Today, we were emailed a zip file with results from a recent standardized test. The file contained three Excel sheets. Neither my coworker or my principal, who sent the email, could open the Excel sheets on my coworker's computer. They asked me to help because when it comes to actually using most software programs, and all Google for education programs, even our school IT will sometimes call me. I open Excel and open the file just fine that way. Coworker thought I was going to copy and paste the data. Nope, opens just fine when you use the correct program. Somehow in 2022, in a Google for Education district, he still uses Internet Explorer as his default and apparently opens all attachments through IE. I have no idea how he managed that.